Welcome to the channel. This reading will be focused on Meghan and Harry. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Melissa. I like to be a fly on the wall. I like to buzz through the blinds of the person on my mind. And I'm going to try to tune in to the energy of Meghan and Harry. This will be a uh, general reading for entertainment purposes only. Show me Megan. What's, uh, representing Megan? And what does she feel towards her Prince Harry? <laughs> Tell me about Megan. Megan's feelings. What's representing her? How she feel about Harry? <laughs> wow. Well, I'd say the emperors are representing uh, Megan's energy. And this is the person uh, that I view as the strategic energy. They like even sitting, holding a chess piece, like on a chess board. And they're sitting on the planet Mars, which is the planet of war. <laughs> oh, Megan. Three of cups, four swords, queen of wands. Oh, that's my witch. King of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. The Hanged Man. Queen of Cups. And the Five of Swords. Okay. Now, show me Harry. Show me what's represented Harry and his feelings about Meghan. Show me Harry. What's representing him? How's you feel about Megan? Oh, one card. Oh. Oh, that's funny. Okay, one card fell out, and it's the Six of Pentacles, and it came out in reverse. So I'm going to say, when it's this way, I'm like, oh, this is the person that is giving. Um, sometimes I say in a relationship reading, it's the person that feels like they're giving more than they're getting back. Or they're taking more than they give, you know. But it came out in reverse. So I'm going to say, representing Harry's energy, is a feeling of, uh, I'm tired of giving to this. And that was it. That was all that came out. Look at all this here. Look at all this here, all the feels here. And that's all that came out for Harry. All right. We might clarify this. So. So. Like I said here, this is representing Megan's energy overall. It's a strategic energy. It's fiery. And, uh, yeah, it, it came to play and win, baby. Okay. So. I have a three of cups. I have a four of swords. I got a queen of wands. Well, mm, sometimes I see this. If there's, like, lots of threes, I go, oh, th third party, third party. But I just, this is the only three we see here. So, I will say that Megan, 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 Megan. Megan, what are you doing here? Huh. Just seeing these together really made me think of, of witches. <laughs> Uh, so, Megan, well, she might actually be focused a lot on her friendships, okay? Because the Three of Cups is coming together with your friends, having a drinky poo, S going out for ladies' night, all right? Uh, Four of Swords, this is the person that is kind of like, in this card, they're nesting, they're quiet, their heart is sitting there. I'm going to say Megan isn't totally verbalizing and sharing all the things that in her heart that she feels with her Prince Harry. And I'm going to say she's a fiery energy that she is. Um, 
This could be since I mentioned the whole witch thing because the Queen of Wands of all the queens is sometimes she's the witch, uh, or she's called the witch. She could actually, f I felt this all just say it and referring to that specifically, she could feel like, like others outside looking in, maybe view her as a witch or something like, you know. But this overall, it could represent that she feels she's a creative energy. Wand energy is all about creation. And um, it could represent the passion that, that she feels in general about, I'm going to say, her uh, work. Like, what, whatever she's working on. She's very passionate about. This is the King of Pentacles. A seven of wands and the hanged man. So, I'm going to say that this is how she hoped or viewed Harry's energy to be. A dependable, um, prosperous, grounded, pentacle energy. Okay. And I'm going to say she actually has created a bubble like... This is what I felt, so I'm going to say it, that, she, that she didn't really show her real self to Harry, okay? There's a protective bubble around that. This is either saying to me that she wants Harry to see her as a very calm, intuitive, because this as well, like, a creative, intuitive, passionate person, woman, woman. But I feel like maybe she hides some of herself. And this is the hanged man. So I'm going to say that Megan actually puts herself in, or has put herself on purpose, in a physically, emotionally, spiritually uncomfortable position by marrying Harry. That's what she feels. But she chose it. This is the Queen of Cups. This is the Five of Swords. So in other decks, when I get the Queen of Cups, I'm usually like, oh man, she's coming off very emotionally unstable. She might drink too much. I don't know. In this deck, this is like a rare Queen of Cups for me that I just feel like she, she looks like she's given all the emotion that she's going to give. It's only going up to here. You know how people are like, I've had it up to here. I've had it up to here with you. She's had it up to here, and that's enough. She she ain't taking no more. She's not, um, she's, she's like, no more. No more. I'm only giving so much of myself. And I feel like that is represented here as well. Like, there's only so much of herself that she's going to give in general. Okay? Emotionally is what I feel. And this could be how, like, Harry feels. In respect to that, like, both these energies, like, their eyes are closed. She's got her hands up. And he's just like, uh, like the headache, uh. Five of Swords. This is, like, um, for me, aggressive fighting, arguing. Um, this little bird here just whispering. Because swords are about clarity and truth sometimes. It's like, or that's what they are about. I almost feel like it's kind of saying that this person got information, you know, and it put them in a, in, in distress. Um, and I'm going to say when Harry got that information, Megan could give two thoughts. That's what I feel. Okay. And then you have this Queen of Pentacles here. So, I feel like this is for Harry more so. Like, Harry feels like he put a lot of work into the connection and that he thought he was getting this, and this is what he wanted. Like a fertile, nurturing energy that maybe was go See how she's holding this coin? I know it's a coin, but for me, she doesn't seem like a money-hungry person, right? She looks like she is a stable energy, like she's grounded. And for me, the pentacle energy, yes, it's money, but for me, it represents what having money or financial stability makes one feel the stability that comes the, the calmness that might come with financial stability 
And this is like the fast movement. I feel like Harry felt like feels like he jumped into this too quick. And that he thought he was getting this type of woman. But really he was getting this. Like this. You know, I'm going out with my girlfriend. Cause it's latest night. Oh what a night. We're having margaritas frozen with salt on the rim. Okay. Um, yeah. And like this, this fiery energy, you know, maybe a bit of a witch sometimes. And yeah, someone that is closed off to a certain degree and goes off into their own self to reflect what the, you know, okay. I'm just going to clarify that six of coins. Let's see what it says about our boy Harry. Oh, Harry, Harry. Harry, wh why are you feeling the six of uh, coins in reverse? You tired of giving? Show me why. I mean, I see it here, but... Okay. Sorry about all this background noise. Uh, yeah. So... The six of wands fell out, like, right on this, the six of uh, coins. And this is the person that wants to be, well, this is the person that is celebrated by usually others for their accomplishments, their achievements. They want recognition. So I'm going to say, um, Harry might, uh, the first thing I felt, and maybe it's because there's a feminine energy in the, in the art, was that Harry feels like Megan, this is Megan. Like, she wants to be a star. She wants to be recognized. I just felt it's all said. She probably, more often than not, uses or reminds Harry that I was a star. I had a career going, and I was building up to be this big star, and then I gave it all up for you. And on the flip side, Harry might feel like, man, can I get any recognition for anything? <laughs> And on the bottom, and I'm gonna say it's kind of funny that, you know, so many cards dropped out for Megan, but like again, just one kind of came out for for Harry. So I don't know if this is meaning like he's very closed off, because sometimes that's what I feel when this happens, or his feelings are just very straightforward. Like it is what it is. You know what I mean? There's not like a bunch of um, hidden reasons or like things he's hiding. Like this is what he feels. This is a gem reading for entertainment purposes only, but you know that I'm just saying. And on the bottom, I have the judgment card, the world, and the star. So he could feel like Megan is like, I cre recreated myself for you, for you and your royal family. I moved, I changed. I moved, I moved to a whole new place in the world where I don't belong, to be reborn, to, I don't know why I'm talking like an asshole, sorry guys, I don't know, because I feel like that's how Harry, <laughs> and then the star, I was a star, maybe he actually, um, at one time in the beginning, like, admired that about her, I thought that was cool, you know, like she's an actor and building her career and has aspirations to be a big star, and I'm going to say the death cards under this, that, um, <laughs> the death of this connection, I'm going to say for, again, this is a general reading for entertainment purposes only, I'm going to say Harry's had it, okay, this is what I feel, so I'm going to say, I feel like this is what Megan feels, and that her feelings were more strategic in nature, okay, in general. Or just her personality in general might be more the way she thinks strategic. And I think for Harry, it was just very what it is. I think he's, I don't want this to sound rude or wrong, but I feel like he's more simple, simple-minded, okay? I said it, and I really think um, for him, he feels like if things don't change, and I don't think he feels they will change, 
that it's going to be over. Um, will they get legally separated or actually divorced? I don't know. But I feel like the feelings, the feelings, yeah, he might start, he might see her cold with that Queen of Swords there, or more anal head over heart. Like, she did things, she really, she wasn't thinking, like, uh, I'm all passionate, and, like, you know, it's all about the cups and the love. He's feeling like it was more pentacle-related, and, like, She's looking out like, uh, where can this relationship take me, kind of thing. Alright, that's what I felt there. And I'm going to leave it there. Um, if you guys like the reading, give it a thumbs up. If there was questions I didn't ask that you wish I had, uh, leave it in the comments, let me know. If there is um, people you want to see a reading on, uh, certain events, whatever stuff, zodiac signs, Leave it in the comment. Let me know. All right, guys. Love you. See you next time.